An ancient beast with razor sharp teeth. It can swim as fast as fish and has a quick bite to match. This is the incredible gharial. Hi, I'm Danielle Dufault and you're watching Animal Logic. The gharial is one of the most specialized and rarest crocodilians in the world. Like its ancient cousins, they've been on Earth for over a hundred million years and shared the planet with the dinosaurs of the Cretaceous. They're found in the rivers of northern India and Nepal, where they share their territory with the thicker mugger crocodiles. Their most unique feature is their long, thin snout with a little bulb at the end. This is an adaptation to hunt. Gharials are fish specialists and need to have a quick bite to catch agile aquatic prey. Their thin snout cuts through the water with little water resistance. Wide-snouted crocs have stronger bites but aren't nearly as fast as gharials. There are other pescatarian crocodilians, but none are as fast and large as the gharial. The most famous of them is the Malayan false gharial, which lacks the bulb at the end of its snout. Gharials have weaker bites than smaller crocodiles, but that doesn't mean they're not lethal. They have over a hundred needle-like teeth. They interlock like a zipper, trapping fish in the gharial's mouth. Gharials usually ambush their prey, but they also have been observed rapidly shaking their head to catch fish. They also eat other aquatic prey such as crustaceans and frogs, especially when young. There are reports of gharials catching small dogs and goats, but fish make up the vast majority of their diet. Gharials don't attack people. Gharials are huge. They're larger than Nile and American crocodiles. Males are about 4.5 meters long on average, with some size kings getting to over six meters in length. They're not too keen to see you either. In fact, they don't like to encounter large land animals at all. They're the most aquatic of all large crocodilians and spend most of their life in the water. They only come out to raise their core temperature and prefer small river islands over river banks. And it's not hard to see why they prefer the water. Their arms are relatively weak and they can't lift their own weight. And unlike other crocodilians, they can't sprint on land. But underwater, they're extremely agile. Their webbed feet and long, flattened tail give them great swimming power. Their bulb at the tip of their nose is also an adaptation for serenading ladies underwater. It lacks bones or cartilage, but it has chambers that act as a resonator. They can make a popping noise to communicate with other gharials as far as 500 meters away. Their sound is unique to each gharial, which makes it easier for them to know who's saying what. Males also use it to make a far-reaching buzzing noise to call females. Only males have this bulb, which makes gharials the most sexually dimorphic crocodilian. They start growing them before they're sexually mature, when they're about 10 years old. Their bulb resembles an Indian clay pot called a gara, which gives gharials their name. To find a breeding site, females will travel up to 200 kilometers upstream. After copulation, she'll make a nest near the riverbank and lay her eggs. Gharials make the largest eggs among crocodilians. They're about the size of a baseball and they usually lay about 40 eggs per clutch. In some cases, they can lay a lot more. The highest number ever recorded was 97. Imagine carrying 97 baseballs inside of you. No thank you. When the babies hatch, they call their mom, who digs their nest out and points them towards the water. 
Other crocodilians carry their babies to safety, but gharial snouts are too chainsaw-like to do it safely. Then, the females and a male will take care of the babies until the monsoon season. The male is not necessarily their father, and younger males often protect other males' babies. This might be a kind of parenthood internship until they're large enough to establish themselves as dominant breeding males. In the meantime, they often carry the babies on their back to protect them. Scientists believe that this is one of the cutest things on Earth, and I couldn't agree more. They're so small. Despite their apparent prodigious fertility, gharials are critically endangered. Populations have crashed in the past hundred years and are less than 5% of what they used to be at the beginning of the 20th century. Studies in the 70s show that there were just over 200 breeding adults in the whole world. Since then, there have been conservation efforts that involve breeding gharials in captivity and releasing babies in the wild. Unfortunately, numbers have not improved as expected, and there are still fewer than a thousand adults left in the wild. Eel net fishing, water contamination, and habitat destruction due to mining and dam construction are the main reasons most reintroduced gharials never reach maturity. Efforts to restore gharial populations are still ongoing, and hopefully, with improved environmental conditions, these speedy swimming chainsaws will be restored to their former glory. Thanks for watching!